Hi guys. Right, here we have some pretty typical bumper damage. This looks like it's been repaired in the past, but not very well. So today, I'm gonna to give it a tidy up. So, what is needed to fix this? First up, I've got some sandpaper in various grades, soapy water in a spray bottle, panel wipe or pre-paint, some body filler, masking tape, some masking paper or newspaper, a sheet to protect the wheel, a heat gun or hairdryer, aerosol paint in the correct colour, aerosol clear coat lacquer, a machine polisher, and finally some cutting compound. You may recognise the vehicle I'm working on here as the car from episode 3 in my Chop to the Top series. I briefly showed this repair as part of that restoration, but here I'll break down the steps one by one. First, I'll flat the area using some wet and dry sandpaper. In this case, I'm using two stages. First of all, 600 grit, followed by a 1200 grit. By keeping the sandpaper wet, I prevent it from clogging up and becoming ineffective. I do this by both spraying the area with soapy water and also by regularly rinsing the sandpaper in a bucket of water. As with a lot of the paint repairs you have seen me do on this channel, during this flatting stage, I not only sand the damaged paint, but also the surrounding area. This ensures that I will have a clean, smooth surface to paint later on, and any remaining dull paint will be rectified at the final flatting and polishing stage. Now that the first flatting has been done, you can get a better idea of the damage on the bumper. As this has been previously repaired, you will see that it's not a straightforward case of fixing scratches or marks, but instead covering up this mismatched, uneven paint. In this case, I'll need to use a small amount of filler to do a proper job. After applying the filler, working from a few different directions, I'll leave it to thoroughly dry before sanding back to give a perfectly smooth surface. Once the filler has dried, I'll take it back with a coarse, dry sandpaper, followed by a much more gradual and sympathetic wet sanding method using a much finer grade of paper. Now that the filler has been taken back and I've masked off the surrounding areas I want to protect, it's time to paint. But before I can do that, I need to re-clean the area to remove any grease or other residue. After that, it's a case of gently warming the area with a heat gun ready for the new colour coat. I'm using the technique of losing the paint both down the bumper and across its width in order to graduate and seamlessly blend the new paint into the old. Using this method, I'll lay down two to three coats until I have a fully covering, uniform colour. Even though I'm working straight from a rattle can here, with the correct technique and enough practice, this can produce a seamless blend between old and new paint. And here is a result straight from the can, before any clear lacquer has been applied. A smooth, streak-free, uniform shade blending into the original paint. Now it's time to lay down some clear lacquer to protect the new paint and add some shine. As always, I re-clean and warm up the panel first. As I'm working in a cold and somewhat damp environment rather than a proper spray booth, I continue to keep the panel warm both between coats and after application. This prevents the lacquer from blooming, which is where it takes on a milky colour rather than being perfectly clear. I use the same technique as with the colour coat. I lose the lacquer across and down the panel to gradually fade its coverage into the existing paint. I start with a few dusty light coats before moving on to two to three wet coats, which is what gives the proper shine. The trick with wet coats is to apply enough lacquer to achieve a deep gloss without applying too much and causing runs. This final stage can look a bit like going back to square one, as it involves making the brand new, glossy panel dull all over again, but this is simply to aid a better, final polish result. So, with that final polishing stage done, the repair is finished. 
If you have enjoyed this video and you enjoy seeing fixes like this, then consider subscribing to the channel. Cheers!